Actress Constance Bennett was a big deal in Hollywood during its golden age. She acted in movies for many years and left a lasting impression on the industry. You might know her from movies like Popper and What Price Hollywood. She was really good at acting and people loved watching her. What's your favorite movie of hers? When did you first notice her? Share your stories and memories below. And keep watching because there are lots of interesting facts coming up. Born in New York City to a well-known theatrical family, Constance Bennett grew up surrounded by the entertainment world. With a stage actor father and actress mother, she and her sister Joan were immersed in acting from a young age. Constance began acting as a child and appeared in silent films as a teenager. Rising to fame in the 1920s and 1930s, she was admired for her beauty and talent. Her big break came with the film Common Clay in 1930, propelling her to become one of Hollywood's highest paid actresses. Throughout the 1930s and 1940s, she starred in many successful films. Despite personal challenges, including multiple marriages and divorces, she remained dedicated to her career. Known for her sophisticated on-screen persona, she effortlessly transitioned between comedic and dramatic roles in both film and television. Constance Bennett continued acting until her passing in 1965, leaving behind a significant impact on the entertainment industry. Constance Bennett left a lasting impression on Hollywood with her roles in movies like Topper. She was known for her great acting alongside Cary Grant and Roland Young. Coming from an entertainment family, she easily fit into Hollywood's glitz and glam. She married Morton Downey's brother, which connected her more deeply with the industry. This also made her the mother-in-law of Dan Barton, further linking her to Hollywood. Her work on screen and her family ties helped her make her mark in Hollywood. She left a big impact with her funny performances. She showed how talent, connections, and resilience can lead to success in Hollywood. In the film Topper, Marion Kirby, played by Constance Bennett, faced challenges on set due to her sister Barbara's alcoholism, which affected her mood and punctuality. Despite this, one of the simpler aspects of filming for Cary Grant and her was the special effects scenes. These scenes required them only to deliver their lines while special effects artists manipulated various items such as fountain pens and lace panties to appear to move independently. However, Bennett's collaboration with portrait artist Willie Pogany ended in a lawsuit when she disputed the portrayal of her figure in his painting, highlighting her attention to detail and perhaps a touch of vanity. Such incidents shed light on the complexities behind the glamour of Hollywood's golden age. Constance Bennett, the Hollywood actress, faced many personal struggles despite her glamorous exterior. She married five times, with each relationship presenting its own set of challenges. Her first marriage ended in divorce due to her husband's alcoholism. She then wed another man, but their marriage dissolved due to personal differences. Later, she married a French nobleman, but the union was tumultuous, leading to a divorce. She found love again with another man, but their marriage was short-lived. Despite her success in the film industry, Constance faced financial difficulties, particularly during the Great Depression. She had to adapt to a changing industry and navigate through financial instability. Additionally, she grappled with health issues, including alcoholism, which affected her personal and professional life. Throughout her life, Constance strived to find stability and happiness amidst adversity. Despite the challenges, she remained resilient and continued pursuing her passion for acting, leaving behind a lasting impact beyond the silver screen. Honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, she's remembered for her influence on movies. Her star sits close to her sister's Joan Bennett's on 16250 Hollywood Boulevard. In her personal life, she wed the Marquis de la Falaise de la Caudre, who was previously married to her rival, Gloria Swanson, from Pathé Studios. Besides acting, she was also known for her skill at poker, earning a reputation as a talented player. These details reveal there was more to her than just acting in films. Her life was full of different experiences. Despite Hollywood's glitz and glamour, she faced personal and professional challenges with grace, making her own way in an industry where success was hard to come by. Her marriage to the Marquis added another layer to her story, blending her personal life with the dramatic tales she told on screen. Her talent at the poker table only added to her mystique, showing she was a woman of many skills. Constance Bennett's story goes beyond her movies. It's a reflection of resilience, talent, and a life fully lived. After her role in Topper, she, along with Alan Mowbray and Billy Burke, worked together again in Merrily We Live, directed by Norman Z. MacLeod. 
Popper's success led them to this new project, with Mowbray playing a butler again and Burke as the head of a household. In Hollywood, she impressed both viewers and critics. Besides acting, she also made a mark outside movies. Her picture was on the cover of the music CD Electro Swing 4 when it came out in 2011. Her influence went beyond just acting. It showed how much she impacted popular culture. She brought characters to life in different ways. From movies to music, she showed her skills everywhere. In entertainment history, she's remembered for her elegance, grace, and talent. Her work continues to inspire others, making sure her impact lasts for a long time. Coming from a family with a strong background in acting, she had a lot of experience in the entertainment industry. While she usually charged $40,000 for roles, she decided to make an exception for Topper because she really liked the project. With relatives like Morton Downey Jr. and Melinda Markey, who were also in showbiz, it's clear that she was deeply involved in the entertainment world. Her family connections and her memorable role in Topper show how much she loved acting. She put a lot of passion and hard work into her performances, which people really connected with. Accepted the role of Ellie Andrews in It Happened One Night, but later turned it down when Columbia Pictures would not allow her to produce the film herself. As a result, Claudette Colbert took the part and won the Best Actress Oscar for her performance. Later in life, she, alongside her husband, Brigadier General John Theron Coulter, was interred at Arlington National Cemetery in Arlington Va. They rest in Section 3, Lot 2231A, Grid P13. In Our Betters, she portrayed Lady Pearl Greyston, while Gilbert Rowland, one of her five husbands, played Peppy. They tied the knot in 1941, eight years after the movie. Born into the Bennett family, they had strong bonds with their siblings Barbara and Joan. Their family grew when they had two daughters, Lorinda Rowland and Jill Rowland, from their fourth marriage with Gilbert. Additionally, they embraced motherhood by adopting Peter Bennett Plant in 1930, a year after his birth. Their final chapter unfolded at Walston Army Hospital in Fort Dix, NJ, where they succumbed to a cerebral hemorrhage. They were known for their roles in movies and shows. In both their personal and professional life, they showed resilience and determination, overcoming challenges with unwavering resolve. Their journey shows how strong people can be and the impact they can have on others. In the hearts of their loved ones and fans alike, they will forever be remembered as a luminous presence whose light continues to shine brightly, guiding and inspiring all who follow in their footsteps. In 1940, she started acting on stage in a play called Easy Virtue by Noel Coward. After that, she showed off her singing skills from the mid-1950s to the early 1960s. She sang in movies on stage and in a nightclub act, sometimes making fun of early rock and roll. People thought she dressed really well and was one of the best-dressed women in Hollywood at the time. In 1941, a magazine said she spent a lot of money on her clothes, but she disagreed and said she just knew how to pick good outfits without spending too much. Even though people argued about her expensive clothes, her grace and charm on stage, and in movies fascinated audiences all over the world, Constance Bennett was a pioneer in acting and fashion, and people still admire her elegance and style today. In 1931, her contract with Warner Brothers, securing $300,000 for two films, made her the highest paid film player up to that time. This deal reportedly influenced tax legislation targeting the film industry. Despite popular misconception placing her birth in 1905, her sister Joan clarified in her autobiography that she was born in 1904. Consequently, her age at death was 60, not 59 as commonly believed. Throughout her adult life, she actively engaged in political activities, supporting liberal causes such as the creation of the United Nations. She donated her time and money to various political candidates, including Franklin D. Roosevelt, Henry Wallace, Adlai Stevenson, and John F. Kennedy. Her involvement in the Hollywood Democratic Committee highlights her commitment to social and political issues. Born into a family with a rich theatrical lineage, Constance Bennett had a fascinating ancestry. Her grandfather, Morris W. Morris, known by his stage name Lewis Morrison, boasted English and Spanish heritage. Her sister, Joan Bennett, delved into these roots in her autobiography, The Bennett Playbill. In the cinematic realm, her role as Sharon Norwood in After Office Hours marked a significant moment. This film also served as the only screen pairing of MGM stars like her and Clark Gable. It's worth noting that Gable had previously appeared in a supporting role in her film, The Easiest Way. 
Her heritage and unique on-screen collaborations offer insight into her journey in the world of entertainment.